And hypercalcemia is anything above this level. So the mnemonic that we're using for today will be chimp G. Now here you see a normal chimp, but what exactly makes him a G? Oh, there you go. Now he's a G. Okay. So the first thing that causes hypercalcemia is cancer. Um, cancer affecting bone, especially, and also some cancers can produce ectopic parathyroid hormone. And this also results in elevated calcium levels. This is one of the most common causes of uh, hypercalcemia. We also have um, taking too many calcium supplements, which can result in a condition cause, uh, called milk alkali syndrome. H stands for hyperparathyroidism, and this is also one of the more common causes of hypercalcemia. Parathyroid hormone causes the kidneys to increase calcium uptake, excrete phosphate, as well as converting vitamin D to an active metabolite form, further facilitating reabsorption of calcium. I stands for iatrogenic, i.e. caused by this guy, and this may be due to vitamin A overdose, lithium, which triggers parathyroid hormone secretion, and Pfizer diuretics, though with Pfizer diuretics, the increase in calcium is usually quite modest. M is for multiple myeloma, another cancer, but because of the damage caused to the bones, it results in elevated calcium levels. P is for hyperparathyroidism and one of the most common causes. And G stands for granulomous diseases, such as Sarcoid and TB, where the granulomas can produce vitamin D, which facilitates um, more calcium in the blood. And that's it for this session. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you would like to see more types of these videos, please do let me know.